How to configure interview LAN routing on a Cisco Layer 3 switch. Previous video, we configured VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. Ports have been configured in correct VLANs, so VLAN 10, VLAN 20, and VLAN 30. All computers have assigned correct IP addresses with default gateways in all three VLANs. To enable inter-VLAN routing, first we need to create switch virtual interfaces on switch 1 for each VLAN. So for VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. On all switch virtual interfaces to be configured IP address in relevant subnet. And then to enable inter-VLAN routing with command IP routing. Let's start with configuration. Show VLAN brief. We can see that VLAN 10 sales it's active, VLAN 20 marketing it's active as well, and VLAN 30 management it's active. All ports they are in correct VLANs. Show IP interface brief will give us information about ports on a switch. Vir switch a virtual interface that is in state down, so it's not activated. Now we are going to configure switch virtual interfaces with command interface VLAN 10. So now we are creating switch virtual interface for VLAN 10. We need to assign IP address with command IP address and 192.168.1.something. Whatever you want, you can put for that. I'm choosing to be dot one. And correct subnet mask and then you need to put no shut command to turn on this interface now you can see that this change status to up so we're gonna repeat the same and going to create switch virtual interface for vlan 20 with same command interface vlan 20 assigning ip address which will be this time in different subnet 192.168.2 something and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 don't forget command no shutdown we need to turn on this interface same we will do for switch virtual interface for VLAN 30 IP address again different subnet 192.168.3.1 and subnet mask 255.255.0 no shut down and state it's changing to up this switch virtual interfaces they will be default gateways for each VLAN. So in VLAN 10 computers has to have assigned default gateway switch virtual interface 10. And command show IP interface brief will show us that we create three switch virtual interfaces for VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 and we can see that the state up to enable inter VLAN routing with command IP routing we can test our configuration I will try to ping from PC1 to ping PC2 
and then to ping PC3 and PC4. PC2 it is in the same VLAN, VLAN 10, but PC3 it's in VLAN 20 and PC4 it's in VLAN 30. We are pinging PC2 with IP address 192.168.1.12 and as you can see everything is working fine. PC3 has IP address 192.168.2.11 I'm trying to ping and it's working also very good so in between two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 let's try with PC4 IP address 192.168.3.11 and pinging VLAN 30. Looks that everything works fine. I will show you small test now. If you go back to switch one and if you do command no IP routing, so we are actually turning off this feature. If you now try to ping from PC1, PC4, there is no response back. So we cannot reach PC4. If I try to ping PC2, which is in the same subnet, in the same VLAN 10, this will work. Also we can verify this if from PC4 ping PC5 which has 192.168.3.12 IP address this is working well also. So now we can go back to switch 1 configuration back and typing IP routing and to enable again so if we pick 168 3.11 we can see that everything is working fine I hope that you understand how inter VLAN routing is working and thank you for watching